Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. It's Jesse. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, the results are in for the top five. And we now invite all eight delegates back to center stage. Beginning with Miss St. Lucia, Anya Edwin in Heart of Gold. And she's followed by Antigua and Barbuda, Ayana Dorset in Angel of the Morning. Followed by Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Gabriella Bernard in Innocence. Followed by Miss Nevis Kalija Swanston in an evening wear entitled Legacy. Up next is Miss St. Kitts, Serafina Osborne in Whispers of the Ocean. Miss St. Croix, USBI, Shanisa Emmanuel in Aurora Borales. Miss St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Shalisa Nanton. Themed Sunset on the Rocks. And finally, Miss Grenada, Tamia Monroe. In an evening we adopt Golden Goddess. The ladies competed in a one-piece and a two-piece swimwear at Lime Beach Bar on Saturday evening. And this evening they competed in national costume and interview, talent, and evening wear. Five ladies will advance to the final question and answer. The top five are... Miss... Grenada, Tamia Monroe, in the top five, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Shalisa Nanton, in the top five. Kalisha Swanston, Miss Nevis. In the top five, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Gabriella Bernard. And rounding off the top five, Miss Ayanna Dorset, Antigua and Barbuda. We now say goodbye to the other three delegates, Miss St. Kitts, Miss St. Croix, and Miss St. Lucia. Four young ladies will be taken to the soundproof car. So we leave Miss Grenada on stage, they all will be asked the same question. Miss Grenada remains on stage, and we will escort the other four delegates to the soundproof car, beginning with Miss Antigua and Barbuda, followed by Miss Trinidad and Tobago, Miss Nevis. And finally, Miss St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We now invite Smoothie once again to ask the top five the final question and answer. Have you been enjoying the show? We're trying to get out of here by midnight. DJ, I would like two mics for this segment.
We will just give the young lady some time to get into the soundproof car. And we are waiting on Smoothie. Let me say hi to Miss Grenada in the meantime. Good evening. How are you doing? Be honest. How have you been enjoying your experience? for the Miss Caribbean Culture Queen pageant, 2018. I am in love with Nevis. It feels like a home away from home. Everything is so beautiful. The people are so approachable and acceptable. Even on the airport, I was meeting new people. They were telling me, welcome to Nevis. And being part of Miss Caribbean Culture pageant was an experience that I would never forget. I must say I did enjoy every bit of it. Of course, I was sleepy at times, but the food was good, and I'm good. <laughs> all righty, I'm going to wait for the signal to make sure all the young ladies, no one can hear the question. And I'm warning you, the question is unique. We need to kill some more time, right? What do you think about me? <laughs> I have never met anybody like Randy. Randy is, <laughs> Randy is unique, just like the question he's about to ask. That's right. You're not being judged right now. Should I come to Grenada? Why? It's carnival time in Grenada. Who doesn't want to come to Spice Mass? <laughs> it is just a different feeling when you get into the country. And because I said Nevis is a home away from home, I guess people who come to Grenada from Nevis, they will think, wow, I'm at home as well. And we have a unique mass indigenous to Grenada called the Jab Jab. And I think it is something that everybody should try and would love the experience. It is when you bathe yourselves in old oil and you have your horn, your chain, your salt fish in your mouth, and you just have a good time. So I think you should. Did you buy your ticket yet? So instead of talking to me, I think you should go backstage and get your ticket. <laughs> if you make it to the top three, you can use your winnings and invite me, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Smoothie one more time to ask the final question and answer. And Grenada, congratulations on making it to the top five. I trust that you're feeling relaxed at this time. Did Randy make you feel... More comfortable? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right, this is your final question for tonight. My question goes like this. After many years of child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? Let me repeat. After many years of child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the men should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? It is indeed a sacrifice to be paying for a child that you did not, that is not yours. Um, I definitely in agree with being reimbursed. However, we have to realize that every child should have that fatherly figure, even when we do not know who the father really is. So I must say that he has stepped up to the challenge of being a great father, whether he was or not. Okay. Thank you, Miss Grenada. Come on, let's give Miss Grenada some love. Thank you very much. Facing our presence at this time is St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And how are you feeling at this time? I'm quite nervous, yeah, but I'm having a wonderful time. I know that feeling. You'll get over it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, this is your final question. It's going to be all over. Listen very carefully. After many years of child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? Let me repeat. 
After many years of child support, a paternity test, paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? That is a very interesting question. It is in my opinion that I do not believe that he should be reimbursed for the money spent on this child. And I say this merely because of the fact of the child. He is innocent. He has no fault in this. And if you are a good human being and you have good will and you love our children and you want, them to, see, you want to see them grow and develop into good human beings, you would not ask of this. So do not do it for the woman. Do it for the child. All right, thank you very much, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. For Trinidad and Tobago. Good evening, my dear. Thank you. How are you feeling at the start? I'm still feeling nervous, but I'm trying to stay as confident as possible. You will be just all right. Okay. This is your final question for the event. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Ah, you feeling much better now? Yes. It works. It works every time. All right. Great. Now, your final question is. Listen very carefully. After many years of child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? I will repeat. After many years of child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? Well, as you know, in this day and age, the family is really broken up. So there are single mothers who are struggling to make ends meet. And if this man has been in the child's life and has been paying these child support monies, and it has been proven after some years that he is not the father, I do believe that he should be reimbursed because it's not fair to him, you know? It, it, it's not fair to him. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Trinidad and Tobago, let's give her some love as she exists in the stage. idea that white was such a beautiful color until I saw you just now. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And how are you feeling this time? I am doing very well. Okay, great. Now, this is your final question for the evening. Just relax. I'm going to invite you now to take a deep breath. Now, exhale. All right. And now you're feeling much better, right? It works. All right. Mr. Smooth. Yeah. All right. The question is, after many years of child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biolog biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? And I will repeat. After many years of child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years. Thank you for that question. Yes, over the years you would have paid money to child support to help and support the child. And the test is one thing. We do know paper do not lie, but that child looks up to you as a father. And to take back what you have given to the child is like, the, you live to what the paper is saying, but then the child will feel rejected after a while. Who will fill that void spot when you've pulled back or whenever you want your, your um, reimbursement? 
So in my opinion, I do not think that you should be reimbursed because that child, that child looks up to you as a monetary support, a financial aid to that person. And <laughs> let's not, you have to be a father figure and money does not always determine whether you're the father or not, but the paternity test. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let us give it up for Antigua and Barbuda. All right, as she does uh, walk off the stage, Let's give us some love. Let us make welcome Miss Nevis. Hi, Kalicha. Hi, good night. This is your final question for the evening. I want to first ask you, how are you feeling at this time? I'm feeling quite well, thank you. Very confident, all right? Very well. Okay, the question goes like this, and I will repeat it. After many years of uh, child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? Let me repeat. After many years of child support, a paternity test proves that a man is not the biological father of a child. Do you believe that the man should be reimbursed for the money spent over the years? That's a very interesting question. I don't believe that the gentleman should be reimbursed because that gentleman gets to spend that wonderful time with the child. It gets to love that child. The child gets to play with him and grow up with him. So not only having a child is a pleasure, but it's also that his opportunity to watch that child grow, even though he's not the biological father. I thank you. Okay. All right, give it up. Give it up for the five ladies, the five queens of the Caribbean.